All right, now whether you are renting a tuxedo or suit, having one made, or if you already have one in your closet that you plan to wear, in order to get a perfect fit, you're going to need to go to a tailor. The two most common questions I get are, how do I find a tailor? And how do I know if that tailor is any good? I'll be answering both of those questions for you in this video, as well as talking about what to expect, turnaround times, and some things to consider when you are asking for specific alterations. Tip number one for finding a great tailor is to ask around. Word of mouth is the absolute best possible way to find a tailor. If you have a friend who dresses well and his clothing always fits perfectly, ask him who his tailor is. If you see someone on the street or in a store who looks like he's got his stuff together, doesn't matter whether he's a complete stranger or not, go up and ask him if he has a tailor that he recommends. In my experience, guys who are into style are always more than happy to share information like that. Tip number two, because this is the 21st century, do a Google search to find tailors in your area. That will quickly yield a lot of results and you'll also be able to see what kind of reviews they get. Now, once you find those three, four, or five tailors who look promising, I do recommend reviewing tip number one and asking around a bit because in my opinion, when it comes to knowing the quality of a tailor's work, it is always best to have some kind of personal connection or a personal recommendation from someone you trust rather than just cold calling someone you have no experience with. Now, aside from knowing whether a tailor is good at what he or she does, it is very important that that particular tailor is a good match for you. Just like any relationship, whether that's personal, business, or romantic, a relationship with a tailor needs to be built on mutual trust and respect. Always keep in mind that any tailor is coming from a particular style background, so they may be very traditional and perhaps only used to older clients who are looking for a very traditional or classic style. So if you go to a tailor like that and they've never dealt with someone who's looking for something more modern, like a tapered leg or just a slight break, Going in there and asking for that might really throw them for a loop, and they might even tell you that you can't or shouldn't do that. Some tailors can be a little pushy like that, and especially if you seem like you aren't quite sure exactly what you want. I've personally experienced that, and it just sets up a weird dynamic to the relationship that's not good for anyone. The tailor is gonna be frustrated, you're going to be frustrated. It's just a lose-lose situation. Along those lines, remember to be respectful and patient. Tell them what you like, listen to them if they wanna offer some advice, and then if you feel like they're still not quite on the same style page as you, show them some examples of exactly what you're after so they can get a really clear visual picture of how you want to have your clothing tailored. If the tailor is good, regardless of their personal preferences, they will be able to do whatever you are asking. Let's talk about turnaround times. Now, how long will it take a tailor to do your alterations depends on two things. One, the type of alteration, and two, how busy they are. Simple alterations such as hemming pants, taking in or letting out the waist, or shortening a sleeve, I would say you could reasonably expect to get back in no more than a week's time. If you're talking about something a bit more involved, like tapering the pant leg, shortening a jacket, or doing any type of work uh, with the shoulders, that's going to take longer, and not to mention, be a lot more expensive. One final thing to remember is that tailoring is an art and not a science. It's not uncommon to have to do additional alterations, especially if you are getting a custom-made suit or tuxedo. So there you have it. Those are my tips on how to find a quality tailor and how to work with a tailor. Now, one thing I didn't cover in this video was price, because that's going to be very dependent on the particular tailor that you go to. Some rental companies will do free alterations, most custom suit companies will also not charge for alterations, but that will vary from company to company. Uh, to give you a ballpark idea of what alterations can cost, however, I put together a list of some of the most common alterations and what you might expect to pay for them, and that's down below this video. So that wraps it up. If you have any questions, let me know.